In this video, we're going to talk about live migration and Hyper-V. Live migration is the movement of a virtual machine from one physical host to another while continuously powered up and running its applications. Now this is a new feature in Windows Server 2008 R2 and when performed in a clustered shared volume environment like we do here at Applied Innovations, this allows virtual machines to be moved between failover cluster nodes without interruption of services. The users connected to the virtual machine being moved will notice only a slight drop in performance for a brief moment, and otherwise they'll be unaware that the virtual machine was moved from one physical computer to another. Now, Live Migration allows an administrator to take a virtual machine offline for maintenance or upgrading without subjecting the system's users to downtime or having their applications restarted, as would occur, for example, with a dedicated server. Now, in a typical Live Migration, a user is connected to a virtual machine, in this example in a cluster node 1. And an administrator begins the live migration which copies the virtual machine's config data from node 1 to node 2. It then takes an initial memory snapshot and moves that to node 2. But because the users are still connected and interacting with node 1, this memory state changes. And to keep the migration seamless, node 1 and node 2 must perform a memory sync. When the two are completely in sync, node 1 goes offline and the user is instantly connected to node 2 with no service interruption or perceived downtime. I'm now going to show a live migration in action. Now I'm currently connected to two servers. One is one of the physical nodes in the cluster, Hyper-V36, and what we're going to do is live migrate this machine from Hyper-V36 to Hyper-V37. And at the same time, I'm connected to the actual virtual machine that we're going to be doing a live migration on. And what we're going to demo is an application running while we do the live migration to see what happens. And what we're going to do in this particular case is a file transfer. So I'll get that started. And then back on the physical node in Failover Cluster Manager, we're going to migrate Hyper-V2612 from Hyper-V36 to Hyper-V37. And you can see the current owner is listed as Hyper-V36. And the migration started. And on this side we have our FTP transfer still going. We're about halfway done. And the migration is complete. We can see the current owner of this machine is now Hyper-V37. So we physically moved this machine from one physical server node to another. And the machine itself is still up and running. The application is still running. And in this case, this was a file transfer. And it's still going. We didn't even lose FTP connectivity during this time.